The first form of photography was developed from the camera obscura, an ancient device that used a pinhole to project an image onto a viewing surface. Here's a rendering of an artist using an 18th century camera obscura for the first time. Now, here's that same artist using the camera obscura for the second time, 10 minutes later, thus inventing the dick picture. Our dicks went from being projected on walls to being sent to women via Carrier Pigeon and the Pony Express. And what have we learned in all this time? Well, nothing. But with advancements in technology, we have the power to capture and send a photograph in the palm of our hand, leaving the other palm free to put our dick in. But has the dick pic been perfected? No, not yet. But we're about to. I'm Mike Capes, and I call this hack the Kodik Moment. Now, do girls even want these? No, no woman wants to see our gross dicks. Because even your favorite celebrities and politicians like Brett Favre, Anthony Weiner, and Kanye West have failed at this art. But since you're going to do it anyway, it's time to get all Steven Spielberg on that dick. All right, chill out. Of course I'm not going to use my real dick. That's reserved for my Tinder profile. This is a sausage. But there's probably a bunch of ground up dick inside. Who knows? Now, some guys put the impotence of anatomy before the importance of anonymity. So first things first, always hide your face. Cause you know how these things work. She'll tell two friends, and they'll tell two friends, and so on, and so on, and so on. I recommend just cropping your head out. But if that's not your thing, try these hacks for style points. The Dickens Classic. If you're stuck cramming for a final, take a break behind those shelves. And the I love lamp. If you're already pretending to be a lamp to catch your fiance screwing her boss, then you might as well take a quick pick to send to your boss. Uh oh, they can still identify you in court with these, but not if you pulled the Marilyn Monroe. Did you guys notice anything in those pictures? Look closer. If you're like me, you carry a fake beauty mark around. That can't be you, because you don't have a beauty mark. The defense rests, your honor. Case closed. All right, now that we have anonymity covered, let's talk about basic lighting. Never light from underneath, because you don't want your dick to look like it's telling a spooky ghost story by a campfire. I usually stick with a soft 40 watt light bulb found in most chain hotels, which is perfect for the traveling man. Also, you don't want hard lighting because your wiener will end up looking like a sad old lady. Then you prepare your background. Sometimes the star of the show just isn't enough for its audience. So dress your shots with things that might impress the girl. Oh, nice dick. Wait, what are those? Two tickets to the Lion King on Broadway? If your dick doesn't sell it, the tickets will. If you're using this to get that special someone back, then use the pic to show her how much you've changed. Like here. Hey, we're washing things now. In Lord of the Rings, they used a trick called Force Perspective to make Gandalf look bigger than the hobbits. To achieve this effect, you just put your junk in the foreground and your buddy in the background. Hey, check it out. It's the same size as Kong. The first Godzilla was pretty much just a dude in a costume going ape shit on a model train set. So, we're gonna use miniatures here. And now, you can make your Dongzilla destroy tiny objects to make it look bigger. On the other hand, if you're packing like my world star homies, then you might need bigger props. Like these oversized sunglasses. Once you're done with composition, you have to work with theme and narrative. Some of the first films were Train Pulling Into Station, Man at Train Station, and Man Pulling Dick Out at Train Station. But as fascinating as these were, narrative advancements were needed. Do you guys want to fish with a net or dynamite? Girls are going to show these to their friends, and they will laugh at you. So we have to leave a lasting impression, something timeless. And you can never go wrong with these classics. Guess who's coming to dinner? This fancy gentleman is. Oh, hello, sir. I know, you're worried about getting marker on your wiener. Just don't use permanent ones. Although I'm sure you'll have fun rubbing it out. Can't get it up because of performance issues? Little camera shy? Just use the weekend at Bernie's. And you can add a drink umbrella. The Cool Hand Loop. The E.T. The Hellraiser. The Mr. Doubtfire. Hello! And the Titanic. 
the highest grossing dick pic of all time. Iceberg, right ahead! Well, there you have it. You just learned the art of the dick pic. So go out there and make our forefathers proud. Also, for more, get my best seller at Kinko's. It's not Dick, it's Richard. Getting ahead with dick pics. Now, I know what you guys are gonna do, but don't send me your dick pics. Send them here. And always remember, kids, don't be an asshole. Hey guys, be sure to subscribe and let us know what we should hack next. Did you guys notice anything about that baby formula? No, you didn't, and neither did security. That's because that's not baby formula. That's a white Russian. And security's not gonna taste something they think came from your wife or girlfriend's tit.